What is up, YouTube? I legitimately just walked in here, saw the camera sitting right there on the table, and was like, hmm, haven't filmed myself in a while. I think I might as well, like, do a little self-check in here. Uh, I spent the morning stretching, cutting down trees, putting up birdhouses, and uh, thinking about going surfing today. Shout out Ben Gravy, Hyperflex, Wetsuits, and Jay Verney for uh, hooking me up. I got a brand new 543 wetsuit, boots, and gloves. Gravy hooked me up with three new surfboards, which I probably won't be riding. I'll probably just be riding my soft top if I get out there today. Uh, yeah, what's new with me? Uh, I'm growing a mullet in. I'm uh, 41 days completely sober. Um, two years removed from doing anything cool, or what I used to think is cool. Uh, meaning surfing, dirt biking, stunts, or whatever. I've been spending a lot of time plumbing, been spending a lot of time with the family, and spending a lot of time working on my relationship with Jesus. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what today's going to hold. It's like 9.30 in the morning. I was uh, up working outside all morning, like I said, putting up birdhouses and chopping down trees. We are trying to create a garden area. Uh, in the back, I'll show you what we have cleared and uh, the plan is to get chickens and uh, Become a little more self-sufficient around here in case the government decides to uh, To pull the plug pull the grid, you know what I mean flip the script on the people So I'll show you what I've been up to this morning. These are the two new birdhouses. I'm going to be putting up This is the uh, old birdhouse that was here I opened her up, re-screwed her to the tree, and uh, cleaned out the old nest so the birds can have a clean slate for, uh, you know, for it to be nice in there for them. They don't have to lay in their old poop and stuff. Uh, we got a couple flags hanging up, because why not? America. El Camino is still down. We need a water pump. Bob Morley's going to help me out with that. The ice tub or cold bath tub is uh, still here. We're still hitting it. Radical Rach is the main lady hitting it. There's ice on it this morning. That's pretty cold. And if you come around here, this is where we've been spending our time clearing out for the garden. We have all these tree trunks stacked up here for the fence posts because uh, we don't want to waste the trees that we chopped down. We're trying to recycle everything. But look at this area, completely, cl completely cleared out. Um, we've been putting in the work back here. The plan is to build a chicken coop here have the garden over there. I know I've talked about this in earlier vlogs if you have tuned in before to this channel. And actually, if you have tuned into this channel before or if you haven't before, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button as well. It will help with the analytics because we are severely shadow banned on this channel for talking about realities in the world. So this is the huge garden area that we're working on clearing out. Uh, I plan on hanging one of the birdhouses there and then another one somewhere else. But uh, Naomi Thrash and Radical Rach just pulled in the driveway. I'm gonna see what they are up to. How was it? Did you bring any dogs back? Rescuer. No way. We have a van full of dogs. What were you guys doing? Helping uh, transport the new puppies to the... Oh my gosh, there's 20 dogs in here. <laughs> what were you guys really doing though? Or you don't even know. She doesn't know. She hasn't been talking very much because her throat hurts. Oh, your throat hurts? Heavy claims. That's, that's the nest that was in there. There's a chickadee in there. So that's where that's the cool. birds were hatched. Pretty cool. That's the old nest that I took out a little bit ago. Pretty radical shranical. Oh, I forgot. I also put this up this morning when Rachel and I were gone. Our uh, pots and pans. So her throat's a little sore, but I don't think she's sick sick. Good. Well, we were thinking we were thinking about going to the Nike outlet in Atlantic City a little bit later to get the shoes. Okay. Dad was saying he wanted to meet us when, when we get the shoes or something. I don't care if he does. We can meet you, right, Rob? <laughs> you don't want to go out to Dick's anymore? Dad said you don't want to go to Dick's? Well, I was thinking about going, uh, my, I got my wetsuit and everything. I was thinking about trying to catch one wave in, on like Vermont Avenue or something and then going to the Nike outlet. Yeah, let Dad catch a wave too. No, I'm not. <laughs> We're about to go in and get the board. 
of the dreamer here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I've spent so much time stretching. So much time on the roller, so much time with John Fresh. Preparing for this moment and uh Yeah, I don't know, dude. I'm nervous, but uh Gotta pull the trigger because I can't keep thinking about it laying in bed anymore. Like, am I gonna be able to surf again? We're gonna find out right now. And I'm gonna be riding the 6'6 Ben Gravy model for the first time out. Soft top. And uh, just see what happens, boys. I'm nervous, stoked, excited. All the emotions of, 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 I, that could possibly go into something are going into this one. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've asked the Lord to give me the strength to, uh, to be a rad dude again so that people look at me and think, oh, okay, he's doing the right thing here. What's he doing that, uh, that's allowing him to have the strength again? And uh, the answer is the Lord. So I want people to know that, like, everything I'm doing now is because of my relationship with Jesus. Making the right steps, getting sober, putting in the physical work to try and get back out in the water, spending time with my family, and all that is is thankful to Jesus. So uh, I just want to go ahead and say, here we go. I want to ask the Lord for for the strength to make this happen here because it's going down. And uh, I'm not saying this is going to be like cool. Nothing. It's just. If I can get out there and just catch one little wave. Honestly, if I can get out there and just paddle around without having my neck pinch, I'll be super, super grateful. So here we go. We're going to start heading to Atlantic City in a little bit and uh, seeing what, uh, what the world has in store for me, boys. Let's go. A few moments later. Vermont Avenue, Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is where I'm going to try and be a local at if I get back into surfing. Phase one of the mission is, can I get in my wetsuit without throwing my back out? Okay. That's a heavy claim. Is Naomi okay? Are you okay? Or is she bugging? I'm bugging. Who's bugging more, me or Naomi? Quick. This will be really quick because I'm bugging if I can even make it, make it out there. <laughs> Oof, it's been a long time, boys. <laughs> Gonna have to cut the clip now because my pecker's coming out. Here we go, guys. The bottom of the suit's on. <laughs> Can I get so the top Look on? How Look at all these tats. Some may say they're ugly. I say the same thing. Tired. <laughs> <laughs> New suit. Dude, if I can make this happen without getting hurt out here. What if? Keep the hood off, maybe. No. Need the hood. I'm gonna put it on. All right, boots time. I'm pretty much sponsored by Hyperflex. You know, they know I'm going for the World Tour '94, '94 style. Me versus Andy, dude. This was before Andy overdosed on meth in a crazy motel in Bali. You wear the softest. I'm pretty stuff? much him. You wear the softest. Just not on meth. I'm pretty much Andy. I love Dad. Jesus. Hell, Andy Irons loved meth. Dad. What? Do you wear socks or something? I do, because I'm a kook. Socks and boots. That's a new one. It's a trick I learned from Slater back in J-Bay days. Boots slip right on with the wetsuit boot, with the boot with the socks on. You know what I mean? Weird, because the wetsuit's making my back feel pretty good, actually. Like, here we go. This is all thanks to John Fresh for giving me the motivation to get that back out there, dude. Oh, here we go. I'm getting nervous. I was more nervous about putting the suit on than anything. I'm about to flex on these hoes. Pulling it out. The last board I'll ever ride. Ben Gravy model. What's a board if it doesn't have the gravy pineapples on the bottom, dude? You can see the dust. You can see the spider webs on the fence. Let's see yeah, spider webs. Yeah, boys. About to shred it. All right, guys, on a more serious note. 
hopefully I can go out there and not uh not be in constant nerve pain the whole time and uh yeah get back in there with nature shred it shred or die boys all right boys first session back since I messed up c6 c7 let's get out there and see if we can shred Lord please give me the strength to be a shred God like Jesus your son Step one, we got the wetsuit on. Step two, let's see if we can paddle. That would be see if he's gnarly enough to catch a wave. Yeah, that's Dang. step three. I, th I feel like I got fat though. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> I can feel how fat I feel. Usually I'd be seeing where it's the biggest, right now I'm seeing oh, where it's the smallest. Where's the smallest? smallest. Dude, I'm so stoked. I just got a wave, paddled out there, wasn't in any pain while I was out there, popped up, kind of got caught behind the white foam, and uh, dude, I wanted to get back out there and get one so bad, but another one so bad, but I just told myself, one wave, see how your body reacts, and then tomorrow, the next day, get out there and get a couple more. Uh, a year ago, I would have made fun of somebody for doing that. I would have made fun of someone for being that much of a kook in the water, but now I understand what maybe people are going through and the struggles they are just to get out there and like, it's crazy to say, but I'm truly proud that I've worked this hard over the past year to bring myself back to being able to get on the board and get up. And I just want to give a huge shout out first and foremost to Jesus Christ for allowing me to rebuild myself, allowing me to have the confidence and allowing me to get out there, even though I'm still in pain. You know, I'm just still pushing it. Second, I want to thank my brother for being a huge inspiration in my life. Not only for surfing, but sobriety and just, just chasing the passion no matter how crazy it may seem. And third, John Fresh for uh, working with me the past couple months, past like probably year to get me back to where I am today. And then fourth, my family, Rachel and Naomi for just being so supportive of me. And then all you viewers that have been following me through this, this crazy ride of life, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to God and just, I am so stoked that I did it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> More to come, hopefully. Hopefully I don't go home and seize up because the paddling, I, my arms felt like noodles already because I haven't been paddling. But hopefully I can get this suit off and, uh, and make it, dude. Awesome, dude. Just, I'm so grateful for my existence here on Earth. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one.